The Mercedes-Benz GOE class is a mid-sized luxury sport utility vehicle manufactured by the German automaker Mercedes-Benz and was first introduced back in 1997, which was known as the ML class back then. The newly adopted GOE SUV was renamed in 2015 and offered in two different body styles, the standard SUV style GLE, which is the newly refreshed mid-cycle of the ML class, and the newly designed GOE Coupe. For 2016, the GOE SUV comes in six different trim levels, starting out with the GOE 300D formatic. Next up is the GOE 350, GOE 350 formatic, GOE 400 formatic, GOE 63 AMG, and last, the GOE 63 AMG S model. The one I have here today is the top of the line model, which is the GOE 63 AMG SUV S model. Dress up nicely in black with black exclusive Napa leather interior with gray contrast stitching. The entire GOE class lineup comes with a brand new front fascia, which is a lot sexier than the previous ML class. Plus, it also gets a newly refreshed interior that includes a revised instrument panel design, new trims, and a lot of other features. I'll show you that as we go over the video. Up front, the first thing you notice is the newly refreshed front fascia, which look a lot different than the OML class. And here's a closer look at the full LED headlight, featuring bright white LED daytime running light that help increase the visibility of your vehicle to oncoming traffic by illuminating front light whenever the car is switched on. Very cool looking headlights. And there you can see the brand new front bumper. Very aggressive looking front end with great aerodynamic. And located on each side is the air intake that feeds vital air into the engine. And there you can see the AMG double cross wing design uh, grill with AMG badge on it. Located in the middle is the huge Mercedes Benz logo with uh, the Stronic Plus built into the logo. And there's the front surround camera. The hood also features two air extractors on the hood for air to pass through. Very aggressive front end once again. And there you have the windshield wiper control. Now moving to the side, this particular model comes upgraded with 21 inch AMG cross spoke wheels finished in black with 295-35 performance tires. Behind the wheel is the set of slotted cross drill brake disc with red painted brake caliber with AMG lettering on it. I really like the design of this wheel. The 8x12 badge on the uh, fender. Body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator. Side camera are also integrated into the side view mirror. On top, you can see the black roof rails, as well as the panoramic sunroof that can be tilted up or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 21 inches. Behind the rear wheel is also the slotted cross drill brake disc, as well as the brake caliber painted in red with AMG lettering on it. It also comes with adaptive braking technology anti-lock braking system as well as brake assist. Tire pressure monitoring system are also equipped on our four wheels. To the back, the first thing you see is the full LED tail light featuring a fiber optic dual torch design and LED turn signal light as well as LED brake light. Very stylish tail light. There you have the AMG badge on the trunk lid. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser that frame the quad trapezoidal exhaust tip. and a closer look at the uh, exhaust tip with AMG lettering on it. Park assist as well as rear deflectors are also integrated into the rear bumper. 
And there you can see the trailer towing hitch as well as the light plug. Rear view camera is located right above the license plate. It will retract once the vehicle is in reverse. On top you have the roof spoiler with integrated third LED brake light. Okay, here I have the remote. On the remote I have the panic, lock, unlock as well as trunk release button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With a key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. As you can see, side view mirror will automatically fold once the vehicle is locked. And just put your hand behind the door handle to unlock. And once again, side view mirror will automatically unfold. The door does come equipped with a self-closed automatic door. Now the exterior color is known as black, featuring black exclusive Napa leather interior with black piano wood trims and silver aluminum trims throughout. Very classy and elegant looking interior. I really like the new design dash. So to start the vehicle, just insert the key into the key ignition and turn it twice to start. I'm not going to start it up today because uh, it's uh, inside the showroom. So now let's pop the hood and uh, see what the 2016 Mercedes-Benz GOE 63 AMG S model have to offer. Under the hood is a 5.5 liter V8 bi turbo engine with direct fuel injection, 7 speed AMG speed shift plus transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter, automatic air suspension, rear wheel drive with eco start and stop system, as well as dynamic select controller. It is pushing up 577 horsepower and 561 pound feet of torque, can hit from 0 to 60 in just 4.2 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited at 155 mph in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 13 city, 17 highway, and 15 combined. Very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with white contrast stitching on it. All four windows are fully automatic. And there you have the side view mirror controlled. And it does feature folded option. Beautiful wood trims on the uh, top portion. Here you have the three position memory sitting. Harman Kardon surround sound speaker. Trunk release button. In the door storage compartment, AMG illuminated door seal, and there you have the AMG floor mat as well as the sport pedal. Okay, here is a closer look at the seat. It is perforated and does offer heated and ventilated seat option with AMG badging on the backrest with white contrast stitching throughout. Now both front seats feature 10-way power adjustable front seat, including 4-way power lumbar support. A memory system for each front seat recall 3 star position with the touch of a button. The driver's seat memory also includes the power steering column as well as side mirrors. The 3-spoke sport flat bottom design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with Alcantara side grip as well as AMG lettering at the bottom with silver aluminum trims in the middle looks and feel very sporty it also features multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command 
as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. Behind the steering wheel on the left you have the turn signal light control as well as the windshield wiper control. Over to the right you have the gear shift lever. Just push it up for reverse, down for drive and slightly down for neutral and press the P for park. And there you have the uh, Distronic Plus control as well as the uh, power tilt and telescopic steering column. Here is a look at the instrument cluster with the uh, large screen in the middle that shows important information directly in front of the driver. And you can use the uh, button located on the left on the steering wheel to uh, scroll through the uh, menus. Here you have the daytime running light setup. Vehicle setting. Over to the left you have the driver side air vent with beautiful uh, dark wood trims as well as aluminum trims. And there's the light control as well as rear fog light. Parking brake. And here's a closer look at the dash with white contrast stitching on it as well. Now this particular model does come standard with the Harman Kardon surround sound system that's specifically engineered for the GOE class. This premium digital surround sound system fills the cabin with 830 watts of beautifully balanced audio for both you and your passenger. Now located centrally on the dash you have the large multimedia screen with beautiful wood trims and silver aluminum trims. It is integrated very nicely onto the dash. Here you have your different source on the left, volume control as well as on and off button, and there's the telephone keypad. Down here you have the uh, heated and ventilated front seat, and there's the uh, comfort setting for the vehicle. Emergency has a light, eco start on and off, parking assist on and off, and the uh, heated seat and ventilated seat for the passenger. Here you have the full zone climate controlled storage compartment, dual cup holder. So there you have the button to change the temperature of your drink. Blue is for cold and red is for hot. And there's the ashtray as well as the cigarette lighter. Very nice trim on the center console as well. And here's the uh, command system with touchpad controller. There you have the traction on and off, the sport suspension setting, the manual mode, as well as the uh, button to raise up the suspension. There you have the uh, knob to change uh, to a different driving mode. You can choose between individual, comfort, sport, sport plus, and uh, slippery mode. And as you can see, the screen will also change as you turn the knob. And like I said earlier, this is the uh, touchpad controller. You also have the knob to uh, scroll around screen or press down to select. You can also move it up, right down or left. Very easy to use. And here you have the navigation system. The system is very smooth and responsive. It moves instantly as you turn the knob, so there's no delay or anything on the uh, for the system. Here you have the uh, different menus. Now let's see if we have the uh, ambient lightning. You can also change the brightness of the ambient light, and you can also change uh, the color of it. And there's the option for you to change. I try to uh, 
focus on the ambient lightning so you guys can see but uh looks like it is too bright right now so it's hard to see but there is three color option for you to uh, choose from center storage compartment with uh, two USB plug and you have beautiful uh, wood trims on the dash there you have the uh, glove box compartment and another look at the front seat very nice upholstery material with AMG badging on it as well it offers plenty of support as you can see okay looking at the top you have the light control here and the one touch open and close uh, panoramic sunroof now the panoramic sunroof can be tilt up or slide open for an open air feeling and this is how it looks from the outside this is one very nice uh, feature in my opinion and this is how it looks tilting up and uh, you can also control the uh, sunshade to block some of the sun out and there you have the sunglasses holder the SOS button to use in case of an emergency rear view mirror with three button universal garage door opener Alcantara headliner sun visor mirror with a card holder and there you also have the uh, second sun visor okay now let's check out the rear seat so as you can see rear doors also comes with a self-closed automatic door and rear seats are very spacious it offers sitting for three and uh, it also features 60 or 40 split folded option here's the uh, rear driver side door panel with beautiful white contrast stitching rear windows are also automatic and there you have the beautiful wood trim you also have the uh, manual sunshade on each window and there's the uh, Harman Kardon surround sound speaker door storage compartment aluminum door seal AMG floor mat alright now let's jump into the uh, rear seat and see how it is in the back but first let me show you the look to the uh, front cabin very good looking front cabin and here's the look to the top so down here you have dual air vent as well as the full zone climate control for the rear passenger Here you have the uh, slot for the uh, DVD as well as the video and uh, audio jack. There you have uh, dual 12 volt power plug. So I'm 5'8 and I have plenty of uh, leg room left. So if you're taller than 5'8 you should be okay and still com uh, gonna be comfortable. There you have the seats pocket and two TV behind the uh, two front seats. So I'm really comfortable sitting in the uh, rear seats now. It offers plenty of support and very well padded as you can see with AMG batching on the uh, backrest as well and I really like the uh, seat belt it goes really well with the uh, gray contrast stitching here you have the uh, center armrest with dual cup holder I do have plenty of uh, headroom as well and here's the look to the back on top you have the uh, handbar a hook as well as the uh, light 
You also have another air vent here, one on each uh, side. Okay, now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. So as you can see, the GLE 63 AMG offer uh, plenty of cargo space, even with the uh, second row seat up. It offer uh, 38.2 cubic feet of cargo space behind the second row seat. And if you fold down the second row seat, you get 80.3 cubic feet of cargo space, which is uh, plenty for your need. Over here you have the 12 volt power plug, your first A kit. And here you have the uh, cover to cover your personal item when the trunk is closed. And keep in mind that the rear seat does feature folded option for your convenience. Let's see what we have down here. Down here you have a spare tire and your tool. So to fold down the second row seat you have to pull that lever and uh, to fold the uh, bottom portion and then pull that lever once again to fold down the uh, backrest and this is how it looks with the uh, seat folded down and you can do the same to the other side so you do get plenty of cargo space here you have the door lock and one touch close Gas cap is located on the passenger side, just push it in to open. Now it does require premium unlit fuel only and holds approximately 24.6 gallons of fuel. Overall, the 2016 GOE 63 AMG is a mid sized luxury SUV with seating for 5 passengers. Second row seat is very spacious and could fit any size adult comfortably. So I'm going to show you the uh, sticker to the car. Here's the, all the uh, standard feature as well as the optional equipment that come with the car. Standard price is 1071 and with all the option and uh, option stuff it'll come up to 119 145 So you can pause the video to uh, take a close look if you want. And this is the look at the front cabin very spacious once again so the front cabin uh, looking a lot better than the uh, one found in the ML class so like I mentioned earlier it offers a lot of space for anyone to be really comfortable even on a long road trip and not to mention the great leather upholstery material that will add more comfort to your body it also features premium wood trims and aluminum trims throughout the cabin so front passenger seats are very comfortable, it is very spacious, you know, but most important of all, this one offers plenty of power. So if you do need the power to pass anyone on the road, you do have that. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. I'll see you guys next time.